Well, of course, the big headline developments here at Glasgow over the last 24 hours was that announcement on deforestation and the one on methane. So it's obviously very welcome. But of course, the question has been raised. We have seen commitments like this before. There was a commitment that wasn't much different from this back in 2015 at the Paris Climate Agreement. What's going to make it stick this time around? And if it's to stick, we would say at the Wildlife Trust, it has to be hardwired into existing and future trade deals and that's a very important point for the UK as it's trying to negotiate new trade deals post Brexit. From our point of view we should never agree a trade deal with any country unless we absolutely hardwire in the commitments that are being made here in Glasgow both on deforestation and on temperature targets and on emissions reductions. Why on earth would we agree trade deals with countries that are not uh, signed up to these kind of pledges being made in Glasgow and of course making sure that our consumption here in the UK is not driving this deforestation. We've got to remember that a lot of tropical rainforests at the moment are being cleared to make way to grow soya for example which is then exported to countries like the UK and fed to pigs and cattle uh, in uh, intensive livestock uh, production units uh, to then produce meat for us in the UK. So uh, it's very tempting in these whole kind of debates to point the finger at other countries but so much of the consumption is coming from rich countries and that's what's driving a lot of the rainforest clearance, that's what's driving so many of these temperature rises. So we absolutely have to look at our own consumption in this and make sure we can turn that around uh, and uh, make sure therefore that we can halt and reverse deforestation by no later than 2030.